The boys at um, Lenton Railway decided to build a coach for the railway, and they decided not to build just a coach, but a director's saloon. And this is the director's saloon, and the film you're about to see is the making of the director's saloon. The frames are a very simple welded construction, uh, the bogies are very substantial uh, but made quite flexible and they have a hydraulic disc brake on one axle of each bogey. The brakes are activated by an air cylinder. Comprehensive drawings were done of the uh, coach both of the body and uh, some of the mechanical components but the boys had uh, difficulty in coping with drawings so in the end a much simpler method was uh, devised. Four bulkheads were made for the coach and these were made from 42 by 42 uh, hardwood. These were glued and screwed together at all joints and all the panels were routed and had inserts of marine ply, both uh, inside and outside. Here we see the observation end starting to take shape. And here we see a, a notching of the bulkhead for the letterboard to be inserted. The timber base that the body sits on uh, is made up of two layers of 42 by 42 and the letterboards again are two layers of uh, 100 by 20. So now we see the start of the cholesterol taking shape. With the first panel being attached to a bulkhead. The sides of the cholesterol were notched for the curved car lines to be inserted. The sides of the coach were plane down to meet the curvature of the roof. The roof itself was made up of pine lining boards <coughs> that had been pre-grooved and pre-painted before they were uh, glued and screwed to the coach. The timber inside the coach was stained walnut and, and shellac prior to the roof being attached and here we see the first part of the roof having been attached. The doors were made hollow in order for a drop window to be inserted into them and of course they, that necessitated a drain hole at the bottom of the door for water to escape. The floor, the floor had to be raised over the top of the bogies at the ends, but after, between the bogies the floor was set down below, just below the side frames in order to give maximum leg room.
Nothing needs to be said here. So the roof was filled and sanded and eventually was given its first layer of canvas but we were unhappy with the canvas as you could still see uh, the boards underneath it so we actually put a thickened epoxy over the top of the first canvas sanded that and then put a second layer of canvas over the top and this produced a very nice result. Here you see the window being um, inserted into the door and we were lucky enough to acquire three beautiful bronze uh, cast lamps out of an early Victorian carriage to suit our carriage perfectly. The outside window frames were glued and doweled to the body of the coach and then the inside window frames were screwed to these to hold the glass in. Here you see the carriage moved into the inside of the workshop as it was just too cold to work outside. The coach colour is a navy blue with a cream stripe. When the body of the coach was finished, the whole body was lifted off the chassis and an 8mm rubber membrane was attached to the chassis for the body to sit on. The seats were formed on 6mm ply which was covered in foam and, and then Dacron and then had a covering of velvet uh, over the top. Door pulls were made of leather and these were riveted over lovely little handles that came off the same vintage coach. Uh, it's a bit messy but it's all under the seat. The windows have an operating mechanism which again was donated from our full size Victorian coach. The end compartment is for the director's uh, lackey. He gets a leather seat and opposite him is the shelf for the director's luggage. So this is the day that our coach sees sunlight for the first time and it's an assisted berth. Uh, the berth being assisted by the old grey Fergie as it's quite a steep climb up out of the workshop um, to go back down to the main track. Here it is sitting on the turntable, which is just going through a major overhaul.
The Linton boys are obviously very proud of their achievement as seen on the looks of their faces in this clip. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as we've enjoyed making the carriage and I hope that this inspires other people to perhaps do something similar. Anyway, that's it for now.